I've owned many boats in my time and finally uh, purchased the Wesley 21, which I love and is ideal for what I want. Uh, the problem is, as I was advised, is the keels. But when I bought it, I checked the keel boats and they looked fine. In fact, they looked brand new, which you'll see later. Uh, but this has started to happen after two seasons and you can see the gap here This is the port side and there's a fair old gap there between the keel and, and the hull itself So this needs to be addressed now. It's out the water for the winter and over the other side uh, On the starboard side you can see we've got a similar problem fair old gap, but there is no um, sealant at all here which I think could be the problem as I started taking quite a lot of water towards the end of the season. In order to get at the keel boats obviously the boat needs to be lifted. Fortunately we were able to have uh, some very good equipment uh, supplied by Go Host in America um, but it, it's an excellent uh, lifting frame which was ideal for the job on the day. It does require uh, a minimum of three people really, but you can do it with, with two, it's just heavy work, that's all. Uh, moving the frames around, they do come apart into small sections, so it could be put up by one person, but that would be a very long and tedious job. Two, two or three people is ideal. We've modified this equipment now. Instead of using winches, which it was supplied with, we use uh, chain blocks, which are far easier and take a lot of the, the work out of the job. Once the boat's lifted, obviously we need to move to the inside to get at the bolts. And we'll start examining the bolts and let you know what's happening uh, with inside the boat. This is the starboard side. Now I've started to remove the bolts and these were very difficult to get at. In fact, you need a purpose built design spanner to be honest with you. Uh, the problem I had really was the top nut, the, the uh, lock nut was uh, 30 mil. So obviously I bought the necessary tools. That was an, that's an impact driver socket there you can see. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the bottom nut, the one that holds the keel on, is not 30 mil, uh, and it's either AF or Imperial. I've yet to find out, uh, but that'll be the next part of my story. The, the main thing is, is the difficulty in getting to these. This is the port side, and you can see I've had to take away some of the uh, frame here in order to get a socket in. And on, on most of them, um, I was able to, to bang the socket, the 30 mil, and, and then lever them off. Um, and I've now got rid of most of them. All the debris you can see there is the fiberglass that surrounded each of the bolts, um, which took a while to, to break free. But um, fortunately, I've managed to get rid of most of it now uh, but it looks very secure and there doesn't look to be any leaks and yet there was quite a lot of water coming in at the time uh, so the next stage is to now hoist the boat and see if we, we can identify um, what the problem is and that's the next episode Having released all the boats now, right the way through, these are, we think are locating pins, because they're not as, as big as the main bolts. And then I lifted the boat, only to find the keel still didn't drop and caused a bit of an angle and then after a lot of searching I find this little bolt 
tucked away at the front which was under cover uh, well in fact it was completely sealed in finally I got there after almost two hours you can see the hole that's been dug uh, absolute section of wood and fiberglass you can see from the starboard side there's absolutely no evidence that there's a bolt a bolt there at all uh, and you can't even see a bulge or a nut sticking out of that so now is the time to cut this area away and see what we can find hopefully we'll find the bolt that we require and uh, undo that uh, we'll wait and see I've now produced a uh, hole I can get at I cut this section out using a Dremel, a uh, small Dremel drill, that's the only way I could get in on it. Back over to the port side, you can see where I've <coughs> removed all the debris from there, and that really starts to open up what could be the problem. You see the big uh, hole that that's created, obviously when it's been dragged through uh, the bottom of the keel. I'm just wondering why that's that's the way it is. I'll go to the outside, show you the outside now. But the boat is lifted. And to the outside you can see the keel boat here. You can see they're looking in quite good condition. As we move towards the back there's quite a gap. Uh, there's hardly any ceilings on there at all. Uh, and as we move along the boats we come uh, directly to the front bolts. There's a rubber washers on each of them, which I may remove. I don't see the point of those now. I'm going to fill it with silfex. Uh, you can see there now the hole that's been created, where it's obviously ripped through the hole at some stage. Obviously, I need to cut all this out and reinforce the bottom of the hull, uh, fiberglass and that in, and then uh, make sure the bolt is through. I grease the bolt in order to do that and then let the fiberglass set and then pulled it back through. Once complete, the Sikaflex applied. We lowered the boat and uh, watched the Sikaflex ooze out, so there's plenty in there. Hopefully, that will seal the job now and we should be able to carry on. Um, I'm going to sand all this down later, give it a nice smooth finish, uh, and then paint it, obviously, uh, ready for anti fouling. Inside, uh, I've done the same. I've circumflexed over the top of the bolts, uh, mainly to stop the fiberglass, because I'm going to repeat the previous method of pouring fiberglass over the top of the bolts and sealing uh, the channel uh, completely. And then I've got to fill in all the holes on the inside and make sure that they're finished. All there is now to do is paint it and make sure that the bridging supports are firmly fixed. Uh, I didn't show it, but when I checked the bridging supports, uh, when I first looked at the keel boats, they literally came off in my hand. So now I've managed to clear all that up, uh, clear the um, section away, fill it with glass and then paint it and then seal the bridge support there.